We've been expecting you. <sighs> I suspected it was you. A pleasure as always, Yin. Uh, I keep doing that. You prefer Risha. It's good to see you're both in good health as well, Detective Bannings and Miss McDowell. And if it isn't Major Arendelle, I trust you've been keeping well since we last met. I'm getting by. I've had my hands full since the last time we teamed up. So good to see you remember. You were a valuable asset indeed. I wish I could be as satisfied with the sad state Crossbell is in. Thank goodness Master Shin returned to the Republic just before all of this began. Indeed. It was quite the stroke of good fortune. I'm thankful you contacted me, at least. Might I ask where Elia and Kia are? You needn't worry. They're in the fortress behind us. After all... We wouldn't want them being hurt now, would we? I wish I could say I didn't see this coming. You made your position so obvious by not appearing during the chaos at the signing ceremony. You're in Rufus's back pocket, aren't you? Oh, how little trust you have in me. Or... You perhaps trusted exactly what I'd do. The Supreme Leader made contact as we were considering our Crossbell Branch's future under renewed independence. Once the Elders gave their blessing, we decided to take him up on his generous offer. You really are the worst. Loyalty means nothing to them. They'll betray you in an instant if the price is right. What's more, given their formation and numbers, they knew exactly who among us would be coming. <laughs> Astute as ever, Yin. Yes, a kind-hearted informant told us exactly who we should expect, letting us be fully prepared. An informant? Don't tell me it was... No. It couldn't have been Lecter. There would have been no reason to stop the EDF from arresting us if he was working with Rufus, too. Oh, that's a fair point. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't just being too naive? But yeah... Pretty sure you wanted him to suspect me, didn't you, White Orchid Dragon? My apologies for the confusion. I simply thought it would be easier on you if you didn't know the truth. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I'm starting to get it now. We haven't had contact with that many people since the ceremony. That basically narrows the informant down to someone in Armorica. Someone who knows us well enough to give him accurate information on what to expect. Wait. Who are you suggesting? Risha. No. Sun Sun? What's she doing here? Wait. It couldn't be. I told him everything he wanted to know. That you and two SSS members came to the village with the red-haired man who'd been to our restaurant. <laughs> what have you done to her? Is she under some kind of hypnosis? Uh, please. I may be capable, but you should know that such things fall outside my area of expertise. All I did was lend an ear to a kind-hearted young woman who wanted what was best for her friend. Let's go home, Risha. The world will be a better place if we do what the Supreme Leader says. You won't have to do anything dangerous ever again. Wait... It can't be... Son, you're doing this because you're worried about me? Risha. She's giving off the same aura the people at the signing ceremony were. Must have gotten to her without her even realizing it. I guess it was dormant till something triggered it to make her loyal to the Supreme Leader. You've got to be kidding. That's possible? This power defies all logic. Pardon the interruption. But I do believe you'll have time for speculation as you're being escorted back to the city. Lao. Certainly. I'm afraid we must take all of you into custody. Please try not to take it personally. <laughs> Stay on your toes. 
Each of them is skilled in Eastern martial arts. Hold on. This wasn't what we agreed. You said you wouldn't hurt them. <sighs> Tonton! What the hell do you think you're doing? Settle down. I merely rendered her unconscious for a short while. <laughs> we'll send her back to the city with you. So don't worry. Get ready. Sorry, Sal. But we'll be leaving here under our own power. Let's do this, Risha! Of course! You won't have the time to regret what you've done! We'll back you up. For Pia and Ilya's sakes, too! Forgive me, but we must. <laughs> Why not? Like this! Let's go! There! All right! Fire! <laughs> it ends! I will hit him! You vile! Death awaits you! Perfect! Let's be- Good to go! Rock cross! Don't give Thanks. in! Why not? I fail! Of course! Yeah. Alright! I don't mind. Unbelievable! Rock thrust! Of course! <laughs> now! It's mine! You're a tough one. It's my turn! <laughs> it's my turn! Uh... Good to go! <laughs> Thanks Thank much. You so much! Here I go! I'm going! Behold! <laughs> it's my turn! Here I go! Take this! <laughs> They're off guard! There! <laughs> My turn. Yeah, oh, they're open. I've got you. I don't mind. Why not? Snowing oh, mountain. All right. Fire. Now's the time. There. Right. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. Why not? It's down. A chance. Death awaits you. So this is the end. If I'm to protect what matters most to me, then I can't lose. Nice! I guess I'm moving up! <clears throat> An impressive performance, Yen. I hope you didn't think I'd be soft on you simply because we've been allies before. Hand over Kia, Ilya, and Sansan, or we'll leave you no other choice! Ugh! How are we supposed to stop her? I suppose I should have known that even Lao wouldn't be able to defeat you now. My apologies, Master Sao. You're outnumbered, Sal. Give Kia back to us. You know this won't end well for you if you continue to resist. I'll admit that you make a convincing argument. But unfortunately, a few observers have arrived to make sure I honor our agreement. What? Well, looks like you're a deep shit. Is that... Garcia? What are you doing here? He has Kia with him. Ilya's there too. <sighs> Risha. Lloyd! Ellie! I messed up. Sorry that I got caught. We found Kia as she was helping evacuate people in the city. But who was going to rescue her? That was when we thought to take her and the nearby Ilya under our wing. What? Hold on, Kia. We'll rescue you and escape here together. Don't worry. You've been really brave. Just hold on a little longer! Okay.
You're not the same police brat from a few years ago, eh, Lloyd Bannings? For a split second, I thought that was Guy at the ceremony. You've really come a long way. Wish I could say the same about you. All I can feel is disappointment. I honestly believed you'd atone for your sins and turned over a new leaf. Thought so too. But then I got offered as much turf as I wanted in this whole United Nation thing. Sounded like a nice way to get Ravach bet together. So, I agreed to knock these guys into shape as commander. Who'd pick three huts and a cot over a one-way ticket to freedom? <laughs> Gotta back the winning horse with its free mirror. Did you say your goal is to get Ravash back together? That's why you're doing this? But... Cut the crap! You honestly expect me to buy that, Garcia? You had your chance to escape when I was falsely imprisoned. You turned around and helped me. You told stories about my brother and gave me the perspective I needed. You picked me up when I was at my lowest. Now you want me to believe that you would side with a dictator just to take the easy way out? Like hell you would. Lloyd, you're right. It makes no sense. Neither does Uncle Dieter's choice to side with him. Maybe you haven't come as long away as I thought. Still sound wet behind the ears. Either grow a pair, or get your ass off the battlefield! So you are going to offer your support. We do make for strange bedfellows, don't we? <laughs> I'm just tired of how long this is taking. Hoping it makes my skin crawl. But you best damn pull your weight, White Orchid Dragon. I wouldn't want to disappoint you, old friend. You always did make my heart dance with excitement as an enemy. I hope you'll do the same as an ally. <laughs> Great, a former regimental commander from Zephyr, and a master martial artist. Neither of them are to be taken lightly. Let's settle this, Tal. Good luck, guys! You can do this! We will. Just you watch. We'll be there to save you before you know it. Let's see if you're up for a real fight. Shall we do battle? Hammer! <laughs> Good to go. <laughs> Let's go. Get it. Behold. <laughs> Even I'm getting fired up. All right. You're off guard! Let's go! <laughs> You're not here to play. I don't mind. <laughs> it's down! Attack! Why not? Gotcha! Attack! Leave it to me! We got stuff to do. I've done it! I need to keep at it. Guess I'm moving up! chance Risha Ellie what are you
We did it. Lloyd! Well, uh, Kia! You're not hurt, right? <laughs> I guess I don't have anything to worry about if you have the energy to tackle me from behind like that. <laughs> yep, I'm fine. Thanks for coming to save me. <laughs> I never doubted for a second that we'd see each other again. <laughs> Neither did I. Ilya, are you alright? Risha, you came all the way here just for me? You look like you're totally exhausted. Take it easy. We'll get you somewhere where you can recover. Huh? They're all right! Well, at least we finally managed to get things under control. Those were terrific reflexes. You always do live up to my expectations. <laughs> huh? Ilya? It's good to see you two again. I've come to resume my duties as your police dog. What? W wolves? They're just a bunch of mangy beasts. If only it were the beasts. The hell are you guys doing here? The Growl Sritter. Not bad. Wasn't expecting you to dodge that. They're just as skilled as we heard. All the more reason we couldn't have arrived at a better time. That Rufus fellow is proving to be even more dangerous than I thought. What's the Grouse Ritter doing here? Ha! <laughs> no wonder the old gut was telling me things were gonna work out. Guess that makes me two for two today. Take your fellow evildoers and be gone, fallen dancer. Your schemes have met their end. So it seems. What a shame that we lost the element of surprise. How I hate letting Lloyd and Risha escape from my grasp, but oh well. What's gotten into you? You've got to be kidding me. Huh. Guess the party's over. <laughs> and I was just starting to enjoy myself, too. We'll have to settle for letting you have, Kia. May we meet again soon, Yin and SSS. Cut things short for today. Enjoy your freedom while you can, and have fun struggling against the inevitable. You're helpless to stop us, now that you've lost your way. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> <laughs> the curtain has risen on the show of a lifetime, and nothing can lower it now. So sit back and watch the fun unfold. The world will soon become one with Crossbell at its center, just as we've always wanted. Ilya, wait! Wait! It's not true, right? Tell me! 
me you weren't the one who enslaved the people of Crossbell. Tell me you weren't the one who turned poor Sansan against us. <laughs> You'll have to prove yourself worthy if you want to play a part in this great performance. No performer gets to take the stage without an audition now, do they? I'm looking forward to playing judge. <laughs>